everybody. Today's video, we are going over sports hernia self-treatment and self-test in one. If this specific thing works well for you, then you know you're headed in the right direction with this video. My name is Don. This is Sebastian. Hey. We work at Performance Place Sports Care in Costa Mesa. And today we are going to show you something really, really simple that if you've been given a sports hernia diagnosis, um, you can try this out and it may lead you down the right path. You want me to try it and you just guide me through it? Sure. Okay. All right. What do you want me to do? Well, do anything that you could show. Maybe you see a lot of in the office of people with sports hernias, this mm. hurts. You know, I feel like I see a lot of like a lot of the lunging mm -hmm. stuff and a lot of the twisting, mm -hmm. right? Maybe a lot of sit up tests. Sometimes. Oh, yeah. The, oh, yeah. There's a lot of those. I get up out of bed and getting out of bed, get it hurts, out of bed. or doing leg lifts. Oh, yeah. I still feel it with, I feel like I've heard this a lot, right? Yep. It's still there. Those are the main, those are like top five. I don't know if yeah. you've gotten anything else, but those are the main things that it recreates pain somewhere in the lower abdomen or down into the crease here. Okay, and so since you're in this position, here is the self-treatment, and if it works, might head you down a different path, or the same path of what's going on with you. So, Sebastian is grabbing his side body here, I believe. So, find the hip bone. Typically, we could put our hands on our hips and we find the hip bone there. Go right above that where it's squishy and there's some skin that you can hold on to. Your little muffin tops. Let's grab your muffin tops <laughs> <laughs> and let's wiggle in different directions. So when we're starting in this spot, we're just going to kind of go up and down, side to side. I typically tell people maybe bend away from the side that's bugging you. It's going to feel like the skin wants to pull out of your fingers a little bit and try not to let it go. Wait, am I supposed to be pinching myself? Not a, like a squeezing hard, but enough that you can just lift the skin away from the structures underneath. So. Yeah, it shouldn't be too, too painful, but there might be some sensitive spots as we go through this. Ooh, I yeah, want you to that... hang out with those sensitive spots a little bit longer than other areas. Yeah, it feels like that one little spot right around here is a little tender on me on that bony bone. Perfect. So hang out on the little bony bone <laughs> for a little longer. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll kind of chase that a little bit. So there's a pointy bony bone on the front of the hip there. Grab the skin right inside of that and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle there. With this one, I typically tell people maybe do some hula hoop motions with it. And again, if this is a little more tender than the other spot, hang out here a little longer. You can pause the video and see what happens. Now, is this safe to do, though? Absolutely. A lot of people tell, like, they're like, is this safe to do? Like, or... Well, I would say that if you are watching this video, you've had an ultrasound done that shows that you have an inguinal hernia or abdominal hernia, or you have noticed a bulge in the area that we're pulling the skin on, this is probably not the right video for you because that's not a sports hernia. That's a different type of one, and this is not going to work well for you. That's for sure. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people that at least that have contacted us. There's a big. Uh, it's a. It's like, is it a sports hernia or a like is a sports hernia hernia, and they think they're the same. They're different. They're completely different. Absolutely, and it's not definitely not anybody at home's fault for that. I think that there's just a lot of uh, different ideas out there about what these different hernias are, but. Ultimately, we're not treating or giving this specifically to anybody who's imaging or actually has some true bulging going on in that area or the imaging shows, again, abdominal contents coming through the wall, the abdominal wall. None of that, none of this is going to work well for your pain. This is like people who have like, uh, I've had an ultrasound done. It's negative. My doctor doesn't know what to do with me. Um, it just, I bet I don't see anything in the area. Mm -hmm. I rested it. It feels better, but... It keeps coming back. Absolutely. Or I've tried some PT and maybe it got a little bit better, but it's not where I want to be. I haven't returned to sport yet. If this works for you specifically, you retest afterwards, it's not perfect, but something improved, then, you know, reaching out to us would be a really good idea because we can head you down the right path. Yeah. Uh, I'll just, I'll just uh, quickly say that retesting is, I've had people ask me before, what do you mean works for you? Um, sometimes it's very instantaneous. It's Absolutely. like, wow, that's a lot better. Yeah, it works for you being, go back to the things we showed you in the beginning, try your lunge, try that sit-up test, the leg lift test, whatever thing that typically creates discomfort in that area, do that skin pulling we just showed, retest the exercise afterwards, and if it improved, yeah. then you know you're headed in the right direction. Yeah, so usually there's more to do. Um, I know that the skin pulling can be very helpful to some people as a form of pain management, but it doesn't, 
solve any problems. It just helps out with pain, but don't be surprised. You go back to sport, it's probably going to come back again, mm -hmm. even though it momentarily went away. And it doesn't mean it really didn't work. It's just, it's not the complete solution. And mm -hmm. we already know that, mm -hmm. right? And so there's other exercises, there's other stretches, there's other support that usually someone will need to do. Um, and it has to be a program that's actually curated to what your body can tolerate. Um, I don't think I would give Dawn, uh, you know, step ups with 50 pounds per hand, but I may just give her a step up, mm -hmm. you know, so it's, it's different for everybody. Um, so if you guys are looking for help, we have virtual and in-person services, and we've seen a lot of people with sports hernias and things like this. Absolutely. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs> yeah. See you next time. <laughs> Oh, we do have a webinar. Oh, we didn't mention that? Okay. No. Now, if you guys want a little bit extra information too, and you're not ready to contact us, we have a webinar in the corner. It's gonna pop up. It covers three different types of groin or hip diagnosis categories that you're probably not really familiar with. So it's 20 minutes long, it's me and Don, and it's probably a lot more entertaining than this one, but there's a lot, really, there's a lot, of, a lot of really good information in there that we don't share on YouTube, and you probably are not aware of from other um, resources as well. So take advantage of that. And if you want our help, let us know. Subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time.